What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we got the machine free. Boot it on up. Okay. I have a feeling I'm about to get into some heavy business. Am I sure I'm ready for this? Yes, obviously. Well, maybe I should make sure. I mean, how much how much goodies do I have? I have 86. That's almost enough to get the upgrade. Is there a fast travel nearby? Oh god. No. Not that. Oh, there we go. Nana Maligula. There's got to be a fast travel somewhere here. I want to get get my melee badge. Um. Hmm. We'll make this a. Uh, Let's call this the free roam episode. No! Oh god, no. One of these places had a fast travel. I don't remember which. Was it the beehive that had it? Oh, they're hanging out there. Psycho Isolation, Compton's Menagerie, Otto's Workshop Board's Office, Cassie's Hives. Hmm. I think there was one up here. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? Let me just go... I'm gonna go to the Cassie episode. What is happening, y'all? Oh, come on back. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, no, that was already, that was already in Cassie. The Sharktophagus episode. Okay. And then I got here. And then I talked to Cooler. And then I made it to the vines. There was nothing there. And then I got up to... The bees. There was a cutscene, and and then, uh, yeah, there's not one over there. There has to be a fast travel somewhere here. So there I was, sinking into the icy grip of Lake Rulovia, my life flashing before my eyes. Oh my god, what did you do? I said a prayer. I thought of you. Oh. How to be a fast travel? Well, I have the 600. Let me go buy it. Pins for that special projection in your life. Um. Forty-eight. 
48. I'm only 42. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. I can put on the badge when I get the ranks. Okay. Right? I'm ready for whatever might happen. Took you long enough. It still works. Of course it still works. Otto over-engineers everything. Crawler, I, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. Otto, you're looking well fed. Ford, you sound like your old self. Well, some things are clear to me now that weren't before. But come on, there's a lot to be done. Is it really you? Cassie! Compton! And Bob. I'm... I'm... I'm happy to see all of you again. What's Nick from the mailroom doing here? That's actually Helmet Fulbear's brain in Nick's body. <gasps> I do love making a grand entrance. Sounds like Full Bear. He's in there, all right. But where have you been? Uh, you don't want to know that. I've missed you so much, Big Bear. I never thought I'd see everybody together again. Well, almost everybody. Hey, I remember this place. We used to sneak in here and fool around on the bean bags, remember? Lucy. Everybody ready? Now, this hunk of junk was made by Otto Mentalis. So, uh, there's no telling what might happen. Oh, what can I say? I was underfunded back then. But if everything goes well, we might be able to have our dear friend Lucretia back in the circle. For good. Now, you ready? Kind of. <laughs> Me too, kid. I bet she's the mole. Shifty intern. Oh man, here we go. Into the mind of my lucky love. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you the high flying, death defying, ironically named Aquato Family Suckers. Augustus. Donatella, Dion, Crazy, Rasputin, Murtala, and little baby Creepy. And the most important member of the family, one who's been here the whole time. Nona Aquato, right where she belongs, in the heart of her family. What 
is this? It's a mental construct I made for Lucy to convince her that she was your grandmother and that she lived with you. Come on, it's time to get her out of here. Did you step in? Watch the other know, Raz. Looks like a puddle of goo. With a mask of me in it. Oh, yep. <laughs> Did you ever see my brother? He was just standing here a second ago. Ah, uh, here he is. Oh, well, come on, Raz. It's showtime. You better play along with this, Raz. We don't want to upset the construct until we have control of the situation. I'll work on Nona. Saw a nugget somewhere. Where did the Get nugget go? Right up to the wheel of endangerment, and behold the daring father daughter team of crazy and a justice cock wattle. One will live, top on there. one will die. Maybe. Who knows? Only one way to find out. They say this balance and act is impossible. Foolhardy and quite entertaining. Come see for yourself right now at the Razorback Arena. Oh, oh, shit. Round and round the wheel goes. Will Crazy kill her papa? No one knows. Tell a balance of duties as a mother with the demands of the circus. Join her at the Razorback Arena and witness this incredible balance and act in person. I did the Carousel of Chaos. <laughs> The only 
only thing sadder than a child stabbing a parent is when it happens without an audience. Don't let this sacrifice be for nothing! <laughs> Who was Donatello's favorite son? I predict it's whichever one successfully completes the nearly impossible balancing course. Wait, so she got damaged in the flood, and then when she arose, she was something else. I think I know what I gotta do here. Children are safe. No, I will show you my little secret. Come with me to the high dive. See the suitcase, though. Ford, our circus didn't have a quilting area. I didn't make this. I created that two-bit flea circus to make Lucy forget who she was. But it looks like she escaped. Come on, Crowley. Stinky dam is over this way. 
Guess you learn a thing or two when you live with fleas. Here's the steamer trunk tag. Well, it's still, it's like yarn, yarn water. Need a couple more of those, and then I can put on my new thing. Which the pen itself is what? 48, and I'm at 40. I don't know, 46 maybe? What's this? It's Lucy and your father. Oh, this must be one of the first real memories she formed after the Astrolabe procedure. Your father was put into an orphanage after his parents were drowned. I locked Maligula away, deep in Lucy's mind to make Lucy herself again. But then I got your father out of that orphanage, buried some of his more uh, traumatic memories, and brought him to her. Why? Well, they were both all alone in the world, the only family the other had left. My sweet little Gussie. Let's keep moving. Wait, wait! I'm I'm still trying to figure out. Hold up, I need I need to to pull up a thing here. Leg you. I need to find. So did she? Was she actually a former member of the psychotic so the aunt of Augustus Aquato, sister to Morona Galachino, sister-in-law to Lazarus Aquato. And the great aunt to the Aquato children. So who did she marry? Family. Uh, father, brother, ex-husband, Gelson Mux. Wait, what the... Who the hell is Gelson Mux? Gelson Mux. That's, there's not an entry for him on the wiki. Gelson Mux. Ex-husband, is there a... Gelson was Lucretia's first husband. Augustus is her nephew, but she raised him as her own son after the whole events. So, I, gu I guess the... Yeah, so she married some dude named Mux, who there's no lore about him at all. And then... I'm trying to figure out where, where the Aquato part comes in. If she was Gelson's... Because her original name was Galachino. Because Galachino is where... Uh, Maligula, Maligula Galachino. So, um, she married somebody named Gelson. I guess Gelson either died or they got divorced or something. Also, it says his ex husband. It doesn't say what happened. And then, huh. Gelson Mox. Rasputin. So, did. Like I don't, I don't see how the Aquato family is connected. Because if she's the the great aunt to the Aquato children, I don't remember how family trees work here. So let's just say she was. That would mean that if she was the aunt. It would have been the sister of the dad's parents. Right? The original the guy who was sister in law to Lazarus Aquato. Laz <clears throat> Lazo Aquato was the father of Augustus 
husband to Morona and brother-in-law to Lucretia Mux. He was the grandfather of the Aquato children. He was a victim of the Valerno Dam disaster in Grulovia, which killed him alongside his wife. Their deaths drove his sister-in-law over the edge, finishing her transformation into Amibula. Um, after they had beat her, Ford altered uh, Lucrecia and Augustus' memories so that they thought Lazarus was the only one who died in the city's flood, and that the other one was the grandma all along. So... Father, he was the grandfather. Because what I'm trying to think is if he's, if he's, so that the real grandfather is her brother-in-law, then doesn't that mean that his brother would have been the one to marry her? But the name I'm seeing listed for the marriage is Gelson Mux. Why is Gelson's name Mux and not Aquato? I don't know. The names don't add up. The names don't add up. Because if the grandfather was the one who... Oh, God. It's weird that the wiki doesn't have like any entry about uh, the the her husband, the Gelson Mux guy. It's like there's just there's no details about him at all. I think that's what's throwing me off. And I just noticed, holy shit, we're at like 26 minutes. I spent way too much time on that wiki site. Sonic to get him off. Got it. Get why there's no. Hang on. No, I can't. This is this is bothering me so much. Gelson Mux, Psychonauts. Gelson Mux. So all that's listed is that Gelson Mux was her ex-husband, but for her to be in the ant side of things, Gelson would have had to be the brother of Lazarus. Let me see. <clears throat> Family, Lazarus. Augustus' son, Donatello. Daughter-in-law. It doesn't have... It doesn't have brother listed. It doesn't make any sense! Like, how is she related to the family? Husband to Morona Aquato and brother-in-law to... For, for him to be a brother-in-law... To Lucy... Lucy had to have married into the family, but who the hell did Lucy marry if it's not the other guy? Because the other guy's not listed as a brother. Unless the wiki page is off, this is going to bother me. We're going to wrap up. 
Y'all let me know in the comments. Does this... Am I just going out of my mind here? Because if... Lazarus, the grandfather that died in the flood... According to the wiki... He is brother-in-law to Lucy. But for Lucy to be... Uh, his sister-in-law... It would have to mean that... She married Lazarus's brother. Which would be her ex-husband, but the ex-husband has a last name of Mux, which doesn't make sense because he's not taking on Lucy's maiden name. He just came up with his own name. It, I just don't, I don't know. It does not make any sense, but we'll continue in the next part. So let me know if it makes sense to you and I'll catch y'all later.